Hi there, my name is Tom and I run Triton Modular Synthesizers, a small Eurorack business located in Belgium. I currently have one module out called Steve's MS-22. Steve's MS-22 is a dual VCF that is inspired by the Korg MS-20. However, it is not a simple clone as it does very much have its unique voice. Its uniqueness is due to a few things. First of all, the order of the low pass and high pass filters is swapped around when compared to the original MS-20. In addition to that, there is a unique gain staging circuitry between the two filters that allows you to go from a really clean signal to nasty, nasty distortion and everything in between. Thirdly, it has a unique modulation matrix that gives you full control over both filters, even though there's only two CV inputs. Then finally, the resonance circuit pushes the boundaries way, way further than the original. This makes MS-22 an excellent drone box. In this video, I'm quickly going to walk you through the features of Steve's MS-22. Then I'll proceed to jam out and show you some of the sounds. This is the control of the low pass filter and this is the control of the high pass filter. This knob sets the resonance, on which I'll talk a bit more uh, in detail later. I will now sweep the low pass and high pass filter. is the link switch. It links the cutoff frequencies of the high pass to low pass, so you get a funky bound pass. While using the link switch, the setting of the high pass filter determines the bandwidth of the band pass filter. Let's now talk about the CV inputs. Steve's MS-22 has two CV inputs. The first one is called the FCV, and that one controls the cutoff of the low-pass filter. Then there's the AUX CV, that can control the other parameters uh, individually or together with these switches that control the modulation matrix. I will briefly demonstrate how this works. I will connect the Bifaco rampage to the FCV. This knob here is the attenuator for the FCV input, so I'm going to turn that up a bit. When I now trigger the rampage, it will open up the filter. The FCV input is normal to the ACV input, and this is the attenuator for the ACV input. I will now route the envelope of Rampage to the various parameters over here. Notice that the up position is positive CV and the down position is negative CV. Oh. 
One of the implications of this is that you can use the input gain as a kind of dirty VCA. I can also combine this with opening the low pass filter, giving us a low pass gate sound. You can also combine this with various combinations of the link switch and the modulation switch for the high pass filter. Finally, I'd like to show you how Steve's MS-22 works as a drone box. There is a lot of interaction between the controls, but the most important thing to notice is that as soon as the resonance knob goes beyond 12 o'clock, we're into self-oscillating territory. The higher you crank the resonance, the dirtier the timbre will become and the lower the frequency. You will notice there's a lot of interaction between the low pass control, high pass control and gain. When the notches of these two filters meet when self-oscillating, they will start to fight. And this gives a really interesting texture for ambient drones. I will drench the signal coming out of the MS-22 in a fat reverb so you get an idea of what the result sounds like. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds awesome. All right, let's move on to the jam with a few more conventional sounds.
so here we are at the end of the video turned out to be a bit of a long one so thanks a lot for taking the time to listen if you'd like to find out more about steve's ms22 go and check out the Triton website there's a lot of other demos that i've made in the past and there honestly there's a few really cool ones uh, in between there that covers some ground that uh, we haven't covered today. Finally, uh, I want to thank the guys of Dutch Modular Fest for having me. It's been an honor. It's been a real pity that I couldn't physically be there due to Corona, but uh, fingers crossed that uh, we can make it happen next time. So until then, see you guys.